been quite a long time since I showed my face in a video like this, but for now, uh, that's pretty important because we're going to talk about the home improvements that have been going on. Uh, in all of this time, I've never talked about this before or made any live video, so let's have a look at what was going on in this video and then talk about what will change uh, later down the line in our video. So let's first go down the stairs uh, without any further ado because that's where the most things happened until now. So there we go with the uh, bench, the chair and the desk and eating table there. Uh, actually it used to be the other way around right, with a bench and a chair going in that corner there. So it's a bit of an inversion. And <laughs> this desk used to be in another room. That room will become Mummy's bedroom. Seeing all later. Right there. The micro set which is currently just used as a radio and a, a CD player. With all the CDs right up top. And Mummy's trusty old sewing machine that has worked since the 1950s, presumably. Uh, maybe even longer. They don't make stuff like this anymore. Let me tell you that. The equally time the space to write there is gone. There is still a little trace of it, which is this uh, little bulge that's just a hole that's been sealed up. Uh, in its place, there are two radiators one right there, and one big one behind the couch. That's by the way, what he used to make when I was really young. Uh, right in that corner. That is a TV, and below there the uh, DVD player. Uh, the reason we use a separate DVD player now is uh, because the uh, micro set is still on the other side. Right there's a TV uh, converter box, a cable box, uh, and it is connected through this long HDMI cable to the TV. However, the micro set doesn't use HDMI, it only uses a composite video uh, output and extending that over this long a distance is really going to cause some uh, quality loss. So instead we've got a separate second hand DVD player uh, connected via this card cable. You mean to the port there, just in case some people might be from the US or other countries where they don't know to cut at all. And it does work very well. This kitchen door used to be a large gaping hole. Uh, but now, this door actually came from uh, the stairs when these stairs were placed in the early noughties. Uh, it was the case that they just put the door from the kitchen there. It's a new door has been installed, and right here's actually a pretty weird thing. Uh, this is a little tray that they used to be different uh, plates or post, and that one was a little bit longer, but it had a shorter hole in it, uh, which caused the door to open by itself all the time. That just no longer happened to pull down the handle and of course insulation strips. There's also quite a bit of insulation under the floor and also on the roof. I can't show you that because that's all hidden away and my review will actually break it. And another strip right here. This yellow door, which has a new paint layer, uh, houses that room where the desk that's right there used to be. I'm not going to open it up because that's going to be Mummy's bedroom, hey? Right now, upstairs, this uh, cupboard um, used to not have a hook on it. I just mounted that on myself. And at my second hand store while we're at it, we also bought this mirror. Very nice, beautiful mirror that I installed by myself. It's like it takes a lot of attempts, but it does it. Gorgeous now. And another thing that I have changed is this sandbar killer here. It, the old one I had six, but I brought that downstairs because of the 
cable wash, microset, laptop monitor and printer and a sewing machine needing their own outlet and this 3.1 came from there so I just brought it up because I didn't need that many here this is for charging my iPad and earbuds my two way charging brick the cassette deck or the turntable I could just swap those over and the monitor which is the only thing I'll really be plugging in here forever until I move out this one can actually be unplugged and I can plug in uh, the turntable and cord from vinyl to tape of course mm, a fan also in the old days it used to actually be moved around a lot from the bedroom to here and right now this uh, has got its fixed position it's going to stay here uh, maybe until next summer. These windows used to be single layer glass with only one corner that one being able to open and close. It was a pretty small one as well. Now everything about that has been changed. Right here this is a high efficiency insulation glass and there are two large windows or should I rather say portal because they're pretty big that uh, open and close so I'm just going to pull in the cold from outside when it gets too hot and keep it out when it gets too cold so right now it's a nice and comfy 18 degrees saying here as you can see on this thermo hydrometer Let's actually go back into a cupboard here because it's not my clothing. So I've actually mounted this, uh, these two plates of wood uh, myself again. <laughs> yeah, pretty handy. So that is that. Uh, I've got quite a bit more room for my clothing. So that's where I'm going to leave it now. Again, I'm going to talk about what will happen next. The next uh, video. See you then. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.